This is the equipment used to verify the hydrostatic forces. This is the so-called hydrostatic pressures um, apparatus. It consists of a uh, this quadrant, yellow quadrant, which is hollow, attached to this arm, pivot about this point. The pivot is also happens to be the center of the two circles that form the quadrant. And it is set in a uh, transparent tank, which has a drain valve in here. Now the operation of the drain valve is a little bit tricky, and just to make sure you do it properly, the drain valve has this flap that you lift, and then put a little bit of force there to open it up. That's an open valve. Then apply some force to return it to its position, and then you can close it down there. This is going to be used to drain the tank. First thing we want to make sure is that the bottom of the tank is level, and you can see it's pretty well level there. And then we need to make sure that this balance arm, it's pretty well balanced, which means it has to be in the middle of this gap. So we have a balance between the weight hanger here and this counterweight. If need be, you can adjust this counterweight in and out to ensure this balancing. So that, that, at that point, the, um, this, this face is vertical when it's uh, located in the middle of these marks. Now what we're going to do is pour some water. And so we have water in this milk jug and we're going to pour it into the tank slowly until we get the, the front face partially submerged. Right there. Let the water settle a little bit. And as a consequence of this water, the pressure of the water, um, I'm going to agitate it a little bit to get rid of those um, bubbles. Well, anyway, <clears throat> at this point, I don't have enough depth to use the scale attached to the, to the quadrant, so I'm going to pour more water into it. We're close to this, to that mark of 50 millimeters, and let it settle a little bit. As a consequence of the uh, hydrostatic pressure on this face, the arm has been lifted up. So what we need to do is try to balance it down by adding a weight. We have weights of 20 grams, 10 grams, 20 grams. 50 grams. Let's try a 20 gram here. You go all the way up to the top to get it in and slide it down the weight. That didn't do much. I'm going to try a 10 grams. Didn't do much either. I'm going to try another 20 grams. Nothing there. Now I'm going to use the small weights for a slight adjustment, so I'm taking my mouth actually. And I'm gonna use a 50 gram weight. Doesn't do much. Let me try another 50 gram weight. That, that brings it down too much. So I'm gonna remove the 50 gram weight and put like 20 grams. And that kind of do the trick. So originally we have just the weight hanger uh, on the uh, counterbalancing the arm when the when the tank was empty. Now with the depth, the depth needs to be read there carefully. Right now I'm reading about 56 
millimeters. I found that I need 50 plus 20, 70 grams to balance this, um, <clears throat> to balance the arm. So that's the data that I want to collect the depth of, of the water and the increased counterbalance weight. Now, what you want to do is try uh, at least four depth with the, with the face partially submerged. So you need to pour more water into the tank. All right, so we went up to a depth of 64. Now we're gonna add another 50 grams here. 50 grams would bring it down too much. So I'm gonna try 20 grams. Not enough. I'm gonna add this 10 grams. And that brought it down to a little bit of balancing. So now we have a total increment of mass there of 50 plus 20 plus 20 plus 10. That's 50. So let's, since we use the, the small end weights to do a fine tuning, I'm going to remove these three weights, 220s and 110 and replace it by a 50. That's an increase of 100 grams overall. And that indeed brings it to a balance there. And so I have 100 grams there for a depth of about uh, 65 millimeters. All right, so you're gonna do that and continue pouring water and then do some experiments where the surface is completely submerged, like in this case. So here you have the, the, the vertical face completely submerged. And I'm gonna start pouring, putting um, 50 gram weights in here. until I get, I got something there. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, 50 gram weights, 300 grams to counterbalance a depth of about 120 millimeters. And that's the experiment you had to do. I ask you to do four levels of um, um, partially submerged and probably four of fully submerged water. And so we have the water in the tank. Now we are ready to drain the tank, bring the water jar. I'm gonna put it on top of this chair. <clears throat> put the water jar in there. Put the the outlet tubing inside. And now we're going to open this valve. Again, you lift this, apply some force to open it, and the water starts flowing into the jar. Now, as the water starts flowing into the jar, then the counterweights overtake the uh, pressure, so we start taking away these weights. Meanwhile, the water the water is flowing out of the tank. It's a very slow process, as you can see right here. You can see the water flowing. a little bit there. And as you can see the water is draining. And the process is gonna take a while. So that is 
the experiment that we're going to run for the hydrostatic pressure apparatus in the civil and environmental engineering hydraulics lab.